Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna take these logs that are on the neighbor's property, bring them up to the fence and pick them up over onto our side of the property so we can use them for firewood. Now, a while back, this tree blew over onto our fence. It did not crush the fence all the way down, so I still don't wanna cut the fence and drag the logs just on this side. We'll drag them up close to the fence, but I'm still gonna have to pick them up over this loose top strand of barbed wire that's still left. Then I can get the fence fixed so we can turn the cows back into this pasture. So I know this is a little off topic, but I'm pretty excited about it. This field behind me, I planted back in September. It is crimson clover. It's the first time I planted crimson clover on the property and it looks beautiful. I really think the cows are gonna enjoy getting their bellies full on this. So the product that we're gonna be using today is in this box. Let me show you what it is. Now this isn't sponsored or anything, I bought this. But I wanna say it goes out to 36 inch. Let's get a tape measure and just see what that actually opens up to. Inside the point to inside point, that's almost 37 inches. So the reason I originally picked up these tongs was to help me pick up some of these larger rounds and set them up onto the log splitter. But we're gonna see how they work for possibly dragging logs and picking logs up over the fence today. Dad's on his way back here with the little tractor and the trailer. We're gonna push this brush, get it out of the way, push those logs out of the way so we can have a straight shot with these logs, get them drug up and pull them over the fence. Okay, so what we're gonna do is hook some chains on each one of these hooks on each side of the bucket. Now, when you pull from a bucket, it's best to try to pull from the center because you can tweak your loader if you pull from one side or the other. So I'm gonna hook a chain to both sides and then I'll hook another chain right in the center. We'll stretch it across the fence and get some of these logs pulled up to it and pick them up over with those tongs. Okay, just like that, we've got the chain wrapped in both sides. We'll hook it right there to the center.
I put it right here. Guys, that was a close call. You can see I cut through just a little too much on that. And he had that whole big piece picked up and it fell off, but nothing got hurt. That was a big old heavy piece.
right around 36 inches on the butt end. But we're starting to get a load. We still have all them pieces next to the fence. We're going to probably throw them in the bucket, load them up on this trailer as well. I'll throw all this stuff in the bucket and we just dump it up on that trailer wherever it'll fit. Think it fit? Uh, I mean, yeah, there's, there's a lot of holes and stuff on the back sides, but I bet we can get most of it. There's quite a bit of wood there, but uh, that trailer's already got a load on it. Stuff here and I'll come down after I get to them. Uh, about next week, I'll come out to the tractor, the tractor just throw it in the bucket and carry it to the house. Yeah. yeah I mean, while we got some space, we can, I, some of I don't it. know if we'll be able to get all of it on there, but we can get a good bit. Those are nice. I was wanting a pair just to help load log splitter mm -hmm. with some big logs. Use those, pick it up and set it up yeah, there just yeah. to split. They work better than I thought they would. Worth the money, whatever you spent. I wasn't sure how well it would drag them, but as soon as you put tension on it, they, they sunk right in. I was surprised it picked it up over that barbed bar wire too, as high as that barbed bar wire was. That's all oak. So we'll end up putting it with them logs that we stuck in your back. The one that was in your backyard. Yeah. It's on a little pile over there. That tree's probably getting cut down too, that blackjack. Just cause them two are kind of growing out of the same stump. I figure cut them about three quarters of the way through and then cut this one and let all three of them fall together. And... A little big one, just have to get up and get a chain around it. Yeah. I don't know if a feller could cut a big wedge out of it and wedge it. I'm sure you probably could, but. All, you, all, all it would do is you didn't do it and fall the fence. <laughs> Well, the trailer is loaded. The little eight foot trailer with 3,500 pound axles. It is, uh, it's definitely overloaded, but sometimes that's what we do around the homestead. We have to, that's all we got. Okay guys, well, kind of the main reason we cut this tree up because it was up on the fence. We got to turn the cows into this pasture. So for that to happen, I got to get this fence fixed. So that's what I'm gonna do real quick. Ain't gonna take long. I'll pull the clips, pull the fence back up, reclip the barbed wire and it'll be done. It needs restretched, but that'll hold the cows in for now. How much do you think the trailer's overloaded? <laughs> I bet there's... So that's only a 3,500 pound axle. Got more than that on there, bro. Uh, yeah, there's more than that on there. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that'll, that'll work out okay. Needs replaced, needs tightened, but that'll keep the cows in. Okay, I got it. gonna require some baling wire okay guys well the end goal for getting that tree cut off the fence and getting the fence fixed was to get the mama cows into this pasture the, yes the fence needed fixed and we needed some firewood and stuff like that but today's the day I'm gonna open the hot fence and all the mama cows up there I'm fixing to holler at them they're gonna come running watch come on look at that look at them <laughs> they act like they're starving all the time. Let me bring you with me, just in case they decide to knock you over. Come on! There comes Dad with the load of wood that we just got. Come on! Come on! Here they come. Got the baby back there. <laughs> they come back, mama.
Hungry girls. Okay, so I'm gonna move the ranger to the other side of the hot fence, put the hot fence back up, and they're gonna be on this pasture for probably the next month. They got a lot of grass. You can see out through there, that crimson clover field you seen earlier in the video, that's in this pasture. So I think they're really gonna enjoy it. All right, those girls are gonna be happy. They're, uh, that, that's all they're gonna be doing all day. I've been rotating that pastures with them. This is one of the bigger ones, and there's a lot for them to eat on. I hope today's video provided some value to you. If it did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.